Burke. Hey Burke. Hey Burke. Hey Burke. Hey Burke. Hey Burke. Astro, quiet, knock it off. Hey, Berkey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jeff. Uh, listen, since underneath my tree is a little bit quiet this season, why don't you tell me the story of Ron Wilson's Christmas morning tweet? Yeah, that didn't go over too big in Toronto. <laughs> uh, actually, that regular season, at Christmas time, we are in a good spot. And then it went all horribly wrong. But he tweeted out that he got a contract extension. It was kind of smug, and people didn't like it. Well, hang on, hang on. Let's rewind here. Before the infamous tweet, there was another tweet that, how should we say it, chum the waters for the contract extension. Ron Wilson sends out, This Christmas could be better if Santa stuffs a certain piece of paper in my stocking. Hashtag, what could that be? And it was ill-advised. You didn't know he was going to do it? No, I didn't know he was going to do it. And then he tweeted out on Christmas Day that... He came, he came. Remember saying that as a little kid? Well, he did. I got a new Red Rider BB gun. Oh, man, I love that movie. Great movie. And a contract extension. What did you think when you saw that? I thought people are going to hate this. I thought we were going to do it quietly, but it was fine. I tweeted out right after, congratulations, Ron. But I knew people wouldn't like it. Like, Ronnie wasn't well-liked by that point in time. And it played out as poorly as it could possibly play out. Take us from then, like that moment, Christmas morning, the contract extension, the tweet, to the Fire Wilson chants against Florida. Late February, I want to say the 28th. We were playing at home, and the crowd started to chant, Fire Wilson. Ron is a friend of mine. I wasn't going to make him go through that again. So we went on a road trip. I was in Boston speaking at the MIT Sports Technology Lecture, the Sloan School, and uh, I brought Randy Carlisle in, interviewed him, talked to him about the team, and then made the change. So I went to Montreal and told Ronnie, I said, I'm making a change. He said, I already booked a flight to Hilton Head. I knew once you told me we were going to meet, I knew what was happening. But I went to Ronnie, and, and Ronnie came over, and, and he hugged me. He said, thank you. I appreciate everything, and uh, I booked my flight to Hilton Head. I'm out of here in the morning, so tough. Is there a right way and a wrong way to fire a coach? Yeah, I think with Ronnie, it was the right way. I wasn't going to subject him to that. He wasn't going to do another home game in Toronto. Not a chance. And uh, I think the right way is, look, same thing we do when we send a player down. It's positive, negative, positive. So call the player in. Hey, we love you. You're a great kid. You're going to be a great player on this team. We're sending you to Milwaukee. Uh, here's what you have to work on. And if you do, you'll be back with us. We love you. We love you. We love you. So it's positive, negative, positive. Same with a coach. We have to make a change. We love you. You'll get back if you want to go from there. Great story, Berkey. Merry Christmas, Brian. Have a safe and happy new year. Merry Christmas to you. Mm-hmm. 